Joining us now is GOP strategist and fundraiser, Noelle Nickpour. She is a former GOP candidate for Florida's 18th Congressional District, and she is very in touch with a lot of the, uh, the donors out there yep. in uh, GOP land. So what are people saying? First of all, about I assume uh, people are very supportive of DeSantis's big win. Oh, absolutely. Right? We're all so proud of DeSantis. I mean, it was a landslide. And yet, what are people saying about the way Trump is treating him? Oh, my gosh. I mean, right after he wins the election the next day, Trump is out there basically threatening DeSantis about getting involved in the 2024 elections. First of all, Ron DeSantis has been campaigning and running for governor. Never has he mentioned anything about stay tuned, I'm running for president. He has done nothing but do a very good campaign, very well old machine that he did. It was a landslide against Charlie Crist, who is a seasoned politician. And we've got Trump attacking not the Democrats, but one of our own, and one that he endorsed back when he ran for election, and this was part of his brand. Ron DeSantis. So let, let me read. This is again from Truth Social today. He said, now that the election in Florida is over and everything went quite well, shouldn't it be said that in 2020 I got 1.1 million more votes in Florida than Ron D got this year? 5.7 million to 4.6 million, just asking. I mean, look, there are people who are going to say Trump has a stranglehold on the GOP. You are in touch with the people who are the money folks. Yeah. What are the money folks saying? They're sick of it. They're absolutely sick of it. I mean, I'm going on no sleep, so I'm sure I'm being very dramatic, but they're, they're tired of it. They're really sick of it, Dan. They're tired of the rhetoric. We are in this position because of Donald Trump in the first place, because of him as a person. His policies were great. He should have been reelected, but instead we have Joe Biden, and now we have this debacle going on. And I'll tell you what, you just read that tweet or that, that thing on Truth Social or whatever. Well, let me tell you something. DeSantis, you want to know what he's tweeting tonight? He's tweeting about the hurricane. He's tweeting about the hurricane that's about to come through South Florida, and we have Trump that's being petty, tweeting something about the, the amount of votes in 2020 with Ron DeSantis. Come on. They're so both living in Florida. Are the donors in the GOP going to start backing away from Trump? I mean, look, it, the, oh. the problem, yes, really? Yeah, well, i got to tell you one big one. Of the top ten donors, let me tell you something. Ken Griffin, Ken Griffin, big billionaire, Citadel, moved from Chicago into Florida because Florida was a free straight state. He moved his whole family there, opened up Citadel. Let me tell you something. He already announced, it's in, uh, you can look it yeah, up, you can Google, yeah, yeah, yeah. saying that he will financially support and back Ron DeSantis if Ron DeSantis runs. Elon Musk has already hinted towards that see, as well. I, I guess what people think is that DeSantis is going to get a little afraid. Trump is going to get ugly. He's already getting ugly, and Ron DeSantis isn't even running yet. Now he hasn't even announced, but let me tell you something about Ron DeSantis. First of all, he is Yale undergrad. He went to Harvard. He served in the, in the U.S. Navy. I mean, this is a guy that knows what he's doing. He's, he's extremely intelligent, well-versed on policy, and he's a fighter as well. He's a scrapper. He's a fighter. Look, I mean, look at everything he did for the state of Florida. And he went up, up against a lot of federal positions and, and carved out good so, things for state. So just again, from a, from a GOP perspective, who's going to talk Trump out of this? I mean, it seems to me that there's the only way he's not, never going to be talked out no of, right? One. So the yeah. only way that he's going to stop doing it is if he's effectively forced out of power. Well, I can tell you one thing. If you've got someone living down the street from you, which is Ken Griffin, who's a major billionaire living down the street from Mar-a-Lago, basically coming out saying, we need a change. But that's one of ten. Oh, you mentioned that... There's, there's probably so many. I mean, I've talked to three donors who I don't have their permission to say their yep. name, but they're major donors. I do super PACs. That's what I do is raise, I raise money for super PACs. Yep. And they said that they are behind DeSantis if he runs or if he doesn't run anyone else but Trump. They are tired of this. And a lot of it had to do with election night with all these candidates that not only did he push through the primaries, but then he just walked away and let people like, you know, super PAC people like me, uh, you know, the U.S. senatorial other other super PACs raised the money for these candidates, so he didn't even put in any money. Well, he's declaring victory today, too. Uh, he declared victory, I think he said, for 200 seats or whatever. Well, he's, 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 he's doing exactly, by the way, what he said on News Nation he was going to do, right? Which is, he said he deserves credit if they win. He doesn't, he doesn't. Well, I thought that was a joke, and then he, no one was laughing, so right. apparently it was not. So. No. Yeah, I mean, that, he's declared if, if they won, it was yeah. because of him, and if they lost, well, you know, too, sorry about your luck there, buddy. I don't know. So, final real quick question. You're convinced DeSantis is going to run? I, I hope he runs, but... Thank you for watching.
Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.